Okay, this is a 1985 Morgan 4.4, two-seater, um, bought by me in 1990 and gradually put back together again. It's got a uh, started out life with a Ford 1600 engine, but now it's 1930cc uh, with two Weber 45 carburettors on the side. So it, uh, it's not exactly environmentally friendly. It uh, gets about 22 to 25 miles to the gallon, but fortunately I don't do many miles in a year. And I'm just going to take you for a short drive. Here in Surrey we have a wonderful range of country lanes and there are some of the most delightful driving opportunities in the country. All Morgans are best driven with the hood down. And I always keep an eye out for sunshine, although some of my best drives have been on dark days and gloomy. The Morgan is, a, is an old-fashioned car. It was originally designed in about the 1930s, and driving it is sometimes a bit of a challenge. The suspension is hard, although I can put in some somewhat softer seats, and the brakes eventually work, but not when you always expect them to. One of the highlights of the year in East Clandon is the East Clandon Classic Car Tour. In the village we have a wonderful community of classic car owners with beasts ranging from Aston Martins through to Jaguar C-Types. The day of our tour starts at the Queen's Head pub with a champagne breakfast. We go through the highways and byways of Hampshire, Sussex and Surrey before getting back to the Queen's Head and we swap stories and listen to all the complaints about what went wrong in the day. After more champagne, the marigold maids judge the cars in a committee. They ask searching questions about the amount of maintenance the owner does and how often would they use their dipstick. Back in East Camden, the roads are narrow for the most part and pretty bumpy and uneven with any number of potholes. Not ideally suited to classic cars with their old suspensions. Owning a Morgan is a challenge. There's always something to do, something mechanically or on the bodywork. But fortunately, there's a supportive community of other Morgan owners. More online these days than they used to be, but there's always a bit of advice or a helping hand to get you out of a tricky spot. If this short film has whetted your appetite to own a Morgan, then the best place to start is the Morgan Owners Club, who are always willing to help. Thank you very much for allowing me to share my passion and interest in Morgans with you, and I hope you've enjoyed some views of the Surrey countryside.